Yeah, hello, my lovely people. Welcome to the very first after show for the new Netflix show, the new German Netflix show, Skyline, straight out of Frankfurt am Main. And we're going to talk about the relationship between gin and tonic. Yeah, that's the real name. We're also going to talk about Khalif and Ardan because Ardan just comes back 16 years after disappearing. And we're also going to talk about the bomb attack in the Albanian area in Frankfurt am Main. This and more now here at the new after show for the new Netflix Netflix show, Skylines. I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to the new after show for the Netflix show Skylines. And the first episode we're going to talk about today is called 069. And to all my American people, or let's say all English speaking people, I just want to explain that to you why it's actually called 069. Because basically what it is, is just the area code of Frankfurt am Main. So every time you call someone in Frankfurt, you dial this number, right? So very, very easy. But for me, as someone who's from Frankfurt, who lived in Frankfurt for many, many years, there was kind of a connection already for me from the very beginning, right? So I kind of connect to this number because I dialed it so many times. But before we gonna start, I just wanted to reach out to everybody also in the US to really check out this show as well because it's a German show straight out Frankfurt am Main, German production, but also dubbed in English. So if you wanna watch it in English, you can do that. And you can also watch it in German, but also with American or English subtitles, right? It's completely up to you. But now let's go into the first topic, which is to me one of the most important topics because it's the relationship between gin and tonic. Yes, you heard it right, gin and tonic. I know it's a very famous ring that we all love, but this is also the name of Johannes, who calls himself gin, and also Momo, who calls himself Tonic the Rapper, right? And these two guys are basically kind of these underground like guys who are trying to make it in the Frankfurt rap scene. And as we can see in the very first scene, very interesting, Jin is this kind of guy who's really trying to make it as a producer, right? So he's a great beat producer and he's really trying to become like a star producer, right? He wants to work with the rap scene with really famous people in Germany. But at the end of the day, he's still kind of connected to Momo, to Tonic, who's also his best friend and who's the rapper of these two. But as you can see in the first scene, in the first scene when Jin meets Samia, who's the A and R of Skyline Records, who's really into Jin, he's basically like in between these two people at the moment, right? So he's kind of like, oh my God, do I still be with Momo, a good friend of mine, or actually my best friend that I'm doing rap music with for so many years already, or should I go with Simi, who's the A and R of Skyline Records, right? Who's basically believing in me as a producer right now, but who also told me. Oh my God, I mean, if you want to work, if you want to make money out of producing, you have to come with us. Because if you stay with Momo, you're never going to make it. So for me, that was a really hard, I mean, moment. I don't know how you felt about it when you watched the episode. How did you feel about it? How would you react if someone tells you, hey, you're a great producer, we believe in you, but if you want to make it work, if you want to become successful, you have to work with us and not with your best friend Momo. I mean, that's a hard decision, right? That's tough. But I really like, I have to say on the other side, I really like the storyline because it's kind of a hero story to me, right? I mean, Jin is obviously, he's the protagonist and it's really cool because he's this kind of guy, he knows what he's doing, he's a great producer, right? He's a great beat maker, but he's also very emotional on the other side, right? He, do he doesn't want to hurt anybody. He doesn't want to hurt his best friend, but he also wants to make it, right? I mean, think about it yourself. You have this dream of becoming someone that you're dreaming of for so long. And then on the other hand, you maybe never going to make it work because your best friend is kind of holding you back. That's a very tough position to be in, right? But at the end of the day, what we see is that he's gonna go, he's going into the office, right? He's meeting all those people and he's just going crazy and is showing them his talent, right? So this is a tough situation. So let me know what you think, by the way. If you're on YouTube right now, just write me your comments. I'm definitely gonna get back to you. If you're German, I also write back in German to you, right? No problem. But I wanna move on with the discussion also about the rap scene because what I really like about the show and I just really wanted to point that out also for my American friends and people maybe in the UK or in Australia or everywhere, basically everyone in the world, right? I just wanted to let you know that the story and this episode already showed me that the production did a really great job in basically combining actors who are portraying characters in this rap scene, but also real rappers from Germany. 
I mean, a good example is this one guy that you see in the first episode. His name is Azad, right? He's a very well-known, established rapper in Germany, Frankfurt am Main. So he's very well established. He's from Frankfurt. He does it for decades already. So he's a huge name and they got him into the show, which is great for us to see also as German people that the German productions basically combine real people with actors too to make it even more authentic. So I really like that about it. So hands up or like big applause to you guys that you did that. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then also moving on to the relationship, which I feel also becomes a huge relationship in the next episodes. That's just my feeling. It's also Khalifa, who's basically the main rapper in the whole show, and his brother Adan. And Adan was disappearing or was basically gone for 16 years and his brother Khalifa or Khadija, AKA Khadija, didn't know where he was, right? And now all of a sudden, he just shows up at a party telling him, hey, I'll be back. I just wanna be close to you. And I mean, you know, it's, I mean, for me, it was kind of an interesting moment because I'm, I said that already with Jin, right? He's this kind of guy who knows what he's doing, but he's emotional too. When you see Khalifa for the very first time, you know, this huge guy, this rapper guy, right? Looks kind of brutal out of Frankfurt, right? He knows what he's doing, he's rapping. But then when he sees his brother, I mean, he's changing completely. And that was a really great moment. And I really wanted to sh also yeah, say thank you for that because the acting was really on point. I don't know how you felt about this moment when he's hugging his brother and he's almost crying. I really felt that moment. It was really intense to me. And it showed me that even the big guys, even the strong guys from outside have a very emotional side. So that was really beautiful to see. But on the other hand, what I also realized, which was, it's a really interesting moment, and I think we're going to see a lot more of that in the next episodes, is that Arden, even that he was gone for 16 years, he still has a power or control over his little brother. Khalifa is this big rapper, but for Arden, he's just a little brother, right? And you can tell, as soon as Khalifa sees his brother Arden, you can tell that, that the power is kind of changing a little bit. Arden just shows up, and Khalifa is, is doing immediately what he's telling him. So that was very, very interesting for me to see. So I'm really looking forward to see how this relationship is evolving. So really, really cool stuff. And then at the end, I also want to talk about the police, right? I mean, I used to live in Frankfurt. The police is around, right? We have red, red light district, right? We have the investment banking part right next to each other, as we know. If you guys been to Frankfurt, you might have seen that, right? Frankfurt is a very interesting city because it combines so many different areas. You have the red, lit, uh, red light district on the one hand, and then you basically just cross one street and you are in this investment banking financial district area, which is really interesting. So what happens in this scene is obviously also that we have Sarah, who is the police officer who is working on a case, the Kalmendi case. And what she's trying to basically find out who is the main guy who's organizing all this kind of dealing with drugs, com basically connecting to the investment banking side, which is very, very interesting. And I also asked myself, okay, is that actually true? Does that really exist, right? It was kind of crazy for me to see that as someone from Frankfurt. But that was really cool to see because she is someone very human, but still a police officer, right? So she also has the soft side, but she's ex she knows exactly what she's doing. So when she runs into this room and she wants to basically get this guy who's dealing with drugs, he she got him immediately, right? He's taking him down. She has this kind of skills or martial arts skills that she has, really, really impre impressive. I really like to see that, that a woman was so powerful in the scene to really get this man just on the ground and just basically get him to prison. So that was really, really cool to see. Um, but I'm also interested in her story because I feel like she's also going to have maybe a little more storyline to herself, right? So I really like to find out what her storyline is in the overall storyline. So I'm really looking forward to that. So that was basically the first episode, the first after show of the first episode of the very new German Netflix show called Skyline, straight out of Frankfurt am Main. If you like that show, please keep up with us. I'm going to be back next week for sure for the next episode. And also, if you guys want to follow me, you can go to Instagram and Facebook and you can find me under at Benjamin Schnau. S-C-H-N-A-U. Thank you so much for watching, for telling me your comments. Let me know what you think. I'm going to get back to you. And then have a great evening, have a great day, and talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.